Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10 and support the channel at the same time. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and guess what? It is finally Guilds of Ravnica launch day, and I have a bundle box that we're going to be opening up. I also grabbed two more booster packs. Bonus packs will open up today, too. Wanted to get multiples of three for limited purposes, so there you go. Uh, let's open this first, though, and then we'll do the bonus packs at the end. And, of course, the main event here is the 10 booster packs inside. We want to see what we're going to get, but there's other contents in here. In case you're not familiar with this product, we'll quickly look at those so you know what you're getting. Now, I like to open one of these on the channel every time a new set comes out. They're pretty fun. I mean, you get a variety of cards. You're opening 10 boosters, and the other items are interesting, too. I really like the book, which we'll look at in a second. Nothing more important, though, than the theft detection device so there's that and let's see so this is more of a filler than anything but it is a little box i mean you can put cards in there i suppose but really this is just to kind of fill out the packaging and then you get a real card box a couple other things here's the outside of the product but this does have kind of a mini like poster on the inside if you pull it open and i don't know this one looks i'll show you in a second here Oh, okay. That looks cool. I wasn't sure what it was for a second. But it's obviously the Magic logo in Ravnica setting there. Alright, so there's that. And, of course, here is the booklet that comes. I, I really like collecting these. I think these are cool. They talk about a little bit of the lore. You see some of the cards. They do have, like, a full card glossary in the back, which is awesome, like, in full color. As you can see, there's the characters... You get your 10 coolest cards, as always. Veraska is the coolest, apparently, this time around, so there you go. And those are always fun to read. And then, of course, there's your card glossary at the end. And here are the box. Here's the box. All right. So you get a spin-down die, like you do in every product. So looks like we got the Golgari one. I'm sure they're for each guild color combinations. Oh, and it's got the Golgari symbol on it, too. That's cool. All right, you also get some of this stuff. This is new. Oh, that's, oh yeah, okay. So that's pretty, actually pretty cool that they included these for new players. So, okay, there's those. And they actually give you foil lands now. They saw that on the back of the box. They give you one of each foil lands. So, well, five foil lands. Um, and then you're also going to get the uh, regular lands. Now, you don't get regular lands in the booster packs. Because you get the guild gates instead. So, I mean, I won't spend a lot of time on this, but here's your foil land. So you get one of each for five, which is actually kind of sweet. And then this is really one of your few opportunities to grab these lands. I mean, Planeswalker decks will have them and stuff, but there you go. So if you wanted those particular lands, you can get them here. Okay, so that leaves us with the actual packs. So we're going to open our 10 packs from this. See what we get, and then I'll open my two bonus packs at the end. All right, here we go. Starting off, I'll just quickly go through the commons fast because you've probably um, will get sick of seeing those soon. Okay, Smelt Ward Minotaur is the first uncommon. Flower and Flourish is our second. We also get Sprouting Renewal. And our rare is Experimental Frenzy. There are some folks using this out of the sideboard of Mono Red builds right now. We'll see how that goes when Standard gets going. But at least for right now, there are some people playing it. And, of course, there's the Guild Gate. Okay, so there's pack number one. Not a bad card. I kind of want to play with that card and try it out, like especially in Mono Red. It can be powerful in the right deck. All right. First uncommon is Conclave Tribunal. Good card for limited. Swarm Guild Mage. We get We Dragonauts. Cool reprint. And, oh, are you kidding me? I already see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we get Dawn of Hope. That's awesome. But check this foil out. I peeked. Are you kidding me? Foil March of the Multitudes. That is incredible. All right. So the highest, at least jumping card in the set this week, not necessarily highest valued, but this card, Assassin's Trophy, is the highest valued. But this one went up, I think, 11 or $12 this week. I don't even know what the foil costs. I'd have to look that up right now. But 
That is an amazing pull. <laughs> All right. So now this card is seeing play or will most likely see play this weekend in some of the Selesnia tokens builds. It, it looks like it's going to be awesome there. And those decks look like they could be the real thing. So, wow. Okay. Well, that paid for the fat pack. So there you are. Um, <laughs> or the bundle pack. I still call these fat packs. Um, all right. Let's move on. Hazda Marshall, Silent Darts, Glowspar Shaman. And Swift, Swift Blade of Indicator is our rare. Okay. You know, I mean, we could pull nothing else from this box, and I'm going to be real happy with it pretty much at this point. That was insane. We've been getting crazy pulls lately on the channel. I've been super lucky. The last couple sets have been good to me. Like, I have droughts. Like, I'll open entire sets and get horrible cards. But then every once in a while, like, the sets really like me. Lidev Champion. Street Riot. Sun Home Stalwart. <laughs> what? Aurelia. Exemplar of Justice. Wow. All right. This has been crazy. We've got a foil mythic and regular mythic in this pack. Fantastic. And this is a card that's going to see some play this weekend as well. And it's not just this weekend, but going forward, I'm pretty confident. But yeah, this is um, this is in those Boros builds that are pretty aggressive right now. I've seen different versions of those Boros tokens, as well as just Agro Boros on its own. So We'll see what happens with that card, but it looks promising. So two huge pulls so far. All right, Price of Fame, good limited card. True Fire Captain, GERD for battle. Our rare is Legion War Boss. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. What do we got left here? Where are we halfway? That was the halfway mark, wow. I'm not expecting much from the second half of this because those were insane pulls, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's see. Go a little faster through these now. Joint Shields, Arbitrum Elemental. I always have trouble saying this one when I'm making videos and it comes up. Usually takes a number of tries and I have to edit it, but I don't want to make cuts on a pack opening. I think I pretty much got there. And <laughs> Rampaging um, Monument and Atrata, the Silencer. Cool rare to get. I really wanted to try this card out and play with it. So that's another really nice pull. All right. <laughs> this is insane. I mean, financially, that one's not as big as a couple of the other polls, obviously, but still um, a card I wanted, so, you know, that works. Okay. Legion Guild Mage. World Soul Colossus. Plague Crafter. Our rare is Omnispell Adept. Okay. Sure, sure. All right, what are we down to? Our last three packs, and we'll open our bonus pack. Well, even though I haven't seen what's in these three packs, I gotta say, one of the better... Bundle packs I've ever purchased. Necrotic Wound, Sinister Sabotage, Swath Cutter Giants are rare. Hey, there's a Shock Land. And the best one, if you're thinking monetization, it's Steam Vents. So that's kind of awesome. And we get a Foil Maximize Velocity. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> we even got a Shock, a good Shock out of here, too. Nothing wrong with that, for sure. Okay, second to last pack from the bundle. Chemister's Insights. Wand of Vertebrae, Thoughtbound, Phantasm. Our rare is Bounty of Might. Okay. All right. Last pack. Well, we got there with this one, that's for sure. Cannot complain at all about this purchase. <laughs> all right. House, House Guild Mage, Grappling Sundew, Orkin Assassin, and our rare is Firemind's Research. All right. Shall we look at these two bonus packs? Let's just see what's in here. And then get you on your way. Hopefully you have a chance to play a little bit this weekend for the launch of the sets. Hopefully I'll get to play with these cards, actually, too. Hazda Marshall, Golgari Raiders, Plague Crafter. This card's actually been seeing a lot of play. Well, it's too early to say seeing play, but it's been brewed a lot in some of these um some of these Golgari mid-range decks. Charnel Troll. And we get a foil in this one too. It's Glaive of the Guild Pack. It actually is a cool looking foil, if nothing else. All right, our last pack. Let's see. Can we pull one more crazy thing? Maybe an Assassin's Trophy or something? <laughs> I don't think that'll work again. On my Magic Arena video, I called that shot. I don't think it's going to happen twice. Glaive of the Guild Pack. Conclave Cavalier. That's also a very good card and will be in those tokens decks, most likely. Hellkite Whelp. Oh, okay. Shot Clan. Overgrown Tomb. Sure. We'll take that. That's phenomenal. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this crazy bundle pack and these other two packs. 
And if you get a chance, remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the Market Watch. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.